Hey guys, what's up? Uh, Rance again. I just wanted to uh, show you this new product that I picked up. I've been on the SSD trip lately, so uh, I wanted to install a laptop sized SSD into my Mac Pro. Um, here's the problem with the Mac Pros and 2.5 inch drives. If I were to open it up real quick, I'll show you. Uh, how the drive bays work. So for instance, this little guy right here is what holds the drives on a Mac Pro. Uh, it's like a hot swappable uh, kind of system. Uh, but the issue is you've got your SSD and the only screw holes on the SSD are on the sides. There's some on the bottom, yes. Uh, hey Frankie, what's up buddy? But you can see they don't match up with, uh, with the sled here. So then you're kind of like, well do I have to do it like this? Well the problem is that the connectors uh, go straight into the motherboard when it inserts. It goes like that, so it's pretty much got a face like that. Um, so what do you need? You need a, a 2.5 inch to 3.5 inch converter. And the converter themselves, uh, there's a couple of them. Icy Dock is the company. Uh, this is the full metal 2.5 inch to 3.5 inch SATA HD to SSD converter. They also have a less expensive plastic uh, model here. Uh, and uh, this is the one right here that I'm going to use in this system. I, to be honest, I've never seen an SSD start cooking hard enough to require uh, an aluminum housing for a heat sink, so I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, anyway, oh, I just opened it up here, uh, but uh, the box is open, the uh, drive bay comes inside one of these guys right here, and this is kind of what it looks like. It's about the size, this is the size of a 3.5 inch drive right here. It's got built-in connectors. Uh, and then it's got a lid on the top here and a couple of thumb marks and you just kind of you just kind of push and hope and I'm one of those guys that's afraid to do it very hard so I'm gonna try to do it quote unquote properly boy this thing there we go okay so it just takes a little bit of coercion I just had to like pull up on the top over here yeah, and then it came loose and then the entire lid comes off and you can see inside this is where the smaller drive will insert and snap in so for instance this is this is what you do you just lay it in there you lay your drive in and then you snap it in place and you don't even have to do that snap part because what's cool is the design of this model right here when you put the lid on it will actually move this little part to push the drive in when you put the lid on so for instance, you just lay the drive in there, just lay it in, throw on the lid, and then snap it closed. Bam. And it's not quite flush. So maybe this is a self going with the with the metal edition. Is you gotta kinda mold it together. But it looks closed and everything looks like it's in order. So then You know, the ends justify the means here, so I am trying to get this drive onto this bracket. And yes, it is going to line up. See, it's got the special screw holes on the bottom, and boom. So I take my trusty screwdriver, and I'll do this off camera, you guys. I'm not going to film myself screwing things in. Yeah, entertain them, Frankie. Entertain them, buddy. And all I'm doing is I'm screwing in the four screws here to the bottom of the drive. We're just going to install this bad boy right away.
And there it is. So now the bracket is on, the drive is in, and the IC dock is on top. And it kind of looks something like this. And let's just get our install on, shall we? Fastest hard drive install ever. Anyone? Oh, see this? See what I'm doing? Don't do that. That's upside down. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> and that's it. It's done. It's done. One screwdriver required just for the mounting uh, onto the bracket for the Mac Pro. Of course, if you have a screwless design on your case, then you'll be good to go. And, uh, you know, I've already installed the hard drive and formatted it and done all that, so um, I can't really bring it up in the OS to show you, but it's in there, and it works great. The aluminum one is the same thing, only metal. Uh, and I think this aluminum one here that we did not, I didn't break it out yet. Um, this guy is $30 mail order from Newegg. And it's got the silvery kind of look to it. Uh, and it is aluminum, it's nice and heavy. Largely the same design. I assume there's some thumb pushing that goes on here. Well. Wow. Oh, how fancy. There's a clear button that says push, and you push it. <laughs> okay. Uh, plastic is in there to help you get the hard drive out. And so it's a little bit better designed for twice the price. This guy right here is uh, 30 bucks on Newegg, and the plastic one is 14 right now on Newegg mail order. So get your SSD in your systems, folks. This is the easiest way on a Mac Pro. Uh, to get these drives mounted up. All right, take it easy, guys.